Hey YouTube, you can show me here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Forza Magnet States from obviously Kamen Rider Forza. So uh, it is done in a uh, gray packaging with the red and the blue accents, uh, just like all the other Forza packages. So keeping up with the trends, showing all the crap it comes with. Um, okay, here's how it stands. Magnet States in the show isn't one of my favorites. I think the upper section is just very, very bulky, and it just seems very impractical. However, it did grow on me quite a bit over time, and this can's loose. And, uh, I have grown to like it quite a bit, and, uh, it reminds me of some sort of, like, Metal Hero or something, other than an actual Kamen Rider, but... The overall aesthetic does seem really cool, even though I think the get-up about magnets um, isn't really all that fitting for this uh, this form. Um, I get the whole north magnet, south magnet thing, but given the fact that he has giant rail guns on his shoulders, it just kind of defeats the purpose of magnets to me. But uh, Ramblings aside, this is actually a very solid figure. Um, the legs are a tiny bit loose in some places, but as you can see, it holds fairly well. Um, and uh, the mo most surprising thing is this actually has head articulation. Uh, the shoulder bits can move out of the way to allow some head movement. And uh, actually, the entire neck joint is a single joint there and then a single joint way up there in the head. So um, it kind of creates this rock'em sock'em rider sort of thing. And uh, you can look around and stuff. You can look over the rail guns. So that's actually really neat that... Um, you can kind of get all this sort of head articulation in a mode that's actually not really supposed to have head articulation. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the shoulder parts being uh, on a joint, sort of like Zolda was, um, is nice as well, even though I don't think those sections move in the show either. Uh, it uh, actually works pretty well. Like I said, the red North Magnet Railgun is actually really loose on mine for some reason. Uh, but, uh, your mileage may vary on that. I'm not saying, no, they're all loose. They all suck. No, it's actually really good. Uh, it takes a little bit of finicking to get the body to line up properly, given how bulky this section is and how normal the rest of the figure is. So, uh, keep that in mind as you're posing them, that it might take a little bit of finicking to get everything lined up properly. Uh, and the red down here used in the legs, um, I'm not entirely sure how well it is coming off on camera. Probably not that well, but it does bleed a little bit down here, and it doesn't really match the red used up here. But again, my, absolutely minor nitpick that doesn't really affect my view of the figure whatsoever. Uh, just overall really awesome, and if we can get some light in on the helmet. The red compound eyes, combined with how glossy the black is, looks really gorgeous. So I, I do have to give props to this figure. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the system works exactly the same. You can give him different arm modules. That's not accurate, of course, since he needs the north and south magnets to be magnet states. Um, but the legs do pop right off. They're made of the same uh, base states legs, and you can switch up the leg modules. As you see fit, um, just look at any of the module sets or any of the other uh, Forza reviews to take a look at the part swapping. So... Not going to bother doing that in that review, or in this review, so, um, enough of him, let's stand him up straight, there we go. Uh, accessories, he comes with a stand, which is actually really nice, it's got, uh, Kamen Rider Forza Magnet States, uh, interesting to note that, uh, according to the box, Magnet States is all one word, according to this, Magnet and States are two words, as it probably should be, North, uh, Magnet, South Magnet, and Magnet S Magnet, whatever. Uh, with the red and blue, it looks really, really cool. Um, the clear base, clear base, clear stand pole thingy. Technical terms here, folks. Uh, but looks really cool. I do have to say that this is probably one of my favorite exclusive Tamashii stages. It just looks really cool. Uh, so we'll use that in some fashion. Uh, it comes with the two rail guns that uh, don't connect there, and they do connect right together, just with a simple peg. And to note is that it has three Tamashi ports right here, which is just a simple little port uh, in the middle on the red one and on the blue one. So you can take off this section of the stage, flip that around and plug that in. 
And so if you're doing his final attack, you can have this uh, hovering over here while he's standing over there and shooting it and stuff. So you can do that as well, which I think is really neat. And for some reason, they did give it to the other side. So if you want to split them up and have two, sta two stages and put them together, I don't really know what you want to do. But uh, they gave you the options, and that's always nice. Uh, we have Hull Wank off in... <laughs> still can't get over that name in hot dog mode and in uh, roid mode food mode and roid mode uh, really cool lots of little detail on that guy so that's always nice as well um, you can see the scoop switch or scope or shop or whatever Dutch thing switch uh, in his butt right there it is not removable uh, just to let you know uh, we have the NS mag phone in a closed format an open format a split up format so if you want base states to hold these right before he plugs it into his driver you have that option as well uh, obviously to do that you need some clear ports so they give you the right and left Forza driver section uh, clear so you can plug those right in there on base states or magnet states I guess if you really wanted to somehow uh, hand wise he's got his one on one mono o mono hands uh, relaxed hands so basically the typical Forza hand layout. We have these hands right here which uh, can hold the variations of the mag phone. And then a s another set of hands that can hold the mag phone that have the fingers slightly more curled in. So it's a tighter grip on these pieces. Actually it's a little bit of a looser grip I found but it encompasses it more. Um, I believe these ones are, or, are more for the gripping of the uh, pieces on the belt, while the other one's more for the gripping the pieces of the phone. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use these ones. Um, I think I just kind of want to take a fairly simple approach to uh, this guy and just have him holding the driver pieces and doing the railgun shooty thing. So just like that, sort of, um, one thing to note is that his arms don't particularly go that far back, and his belt is actually fairly thin compared to the front of his chest, so it's not that easy to get it in this pose without him pulling the little pieces off of the belt. So keep in mind as you're posing them that their pieces will probably fling off. So we're just going to go ahead and give him... The stage just like that so um overall magnet states is actually a really nice figure um he comes with every form of the ns mag phone that you could possibly want so that's always a plus um the silver used as always with these tomashi figures is absolutely gorgeous um sure some of the articulation is hindered because of how bulky his shoulder pads are so obviously he can't uh Raise his arms up in a complete horizontal. He can uchukita because he's do move a little bit. Um, but other than that, um, it's really, really nice. And the fact that they included neck articulation in a form that really doesn't need it, as well as the maneuverability of the railgun areas, uh, overall just is captured really well. And um, like I said, I didn't particularly enjoy Magnet States all that much, but when I got the figure, it actually really warmed up to me, and it's probably my favorite of the Forza figures that are released so far. So um, I have to give it mad props for that, uh, for the figure to actually make my view of the States turn around uh, like a complete 180. So I, um, I definitely give it props there. Love it. Uh, and I definitely recommend it to Forza fans, fans of Magnet States. Really no reason to skip this unless you're uh, dead set on the uh, FMC series one, then I'm not entirely sure what you're missing out on. But So you can check out shukenshinobi.com for all these updates on my reviews and hauls, and of course check out ridersrangersandrambles.com for the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one.